you have actually made up your mind to start trading forex and you've acquired some sort of education so it's time for you to start trading in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to set up a demo account on an android phone and how to place all type of trades how to modify your trade and how to actually close your trade looking at the left side on the screen top left corner you will see three lines that is the drop down menu so click on the drop down menu and it brings out this page as you can see at the top it says metatrader 400 demo but this is not the demo account we need so we need to set up the demo account we actually need to start trading the first thing you need to do now is click on manage accounts it will open up this page as you can see we still have the same account right here let's just say there are 400 demo this is not what we need once again so what we need to do is actually add a new account you can look at the top panel you will see second to the last icon which is the plus button click on it and this will show you different options that says open a demo account log into an existing account so click on open a demo account all right let's find the broker now the broker we are looking for is ugo's way ugo's way h u g o s as you can see it's popping up already ugo's way and you just select the options that says ugo's way demo 3 from ugo's way limited ugo's way ltd all right tap on it and it will take you to a page where you need to put in your personal information first then you put your name um let's say this is your name then you put your phone number then you put your email address then the next thing you need to do now is go and fill the account information now you see where it says account type by default because we are using ugo's way demo 3 it's on ugo's way then the leverage now you have to select the leverage you want to use the ideal leverage to use is 1 to 200 sometimes you can go all the way up to 1 to 500 but if you are trying to trade a life account please try and use 1 to 200 the deposit is the amount you want to start the account with because we need to actually select the smallest amount of deposit to enable you to learn the right way if you have hundred thousand dollars in your demo account you will have enough room to keep making mistakes and it will not have impact on the account but if we select the smallest account any small mistake we have an impact on the account on time and you will feel it all right so let's click deposit and go to three thousand assuming we can even go the way down to 100 or 200 it will have been amazing but anyway let's keep going after putting in your name your phone number your email address and account information it goes with account type by default leverage 1 to 200 or 1 to 500 in this case then deposit you select three thousand dollars three thousand usd then click on create account now you see it, it has actually created this account is asking if we want to save you can easily click the copy icon at the top right corner or just click done or screenshot this page and click done Okay, now you can see the account is active now you can see all the different currency pairs we have available right now there are more and i'll show you i'll go ahead and show you how to hide more currency pairs but before i do that look at the drop down menu now and see you can see right now it's showing your name xsx and it's showing your account number 12 210 264 8820 it goes with demo 3 if it was a real account the green badge that says demo will be a yellow badge that says real always watch out for that when you open your life account so when you want to test things you don't test it on your real account you go back into your demo and make sure it's green and test when you are done you go back to your life account and make sure it's yellow all right that is how to open a demo account inside it goes way then the next thing you want to do now is arrange your code page and select the currency pairs you want you can see right now it's showing this code page in an in the advanced mode which is showing the spread low eye you don't need all this so what we need to do first is go to the settings go to settings and uncheck the advanced mode all right let's go on 
you can see it's simplified right now then let's go ahead and show you how to add another currency pair that is not on this page so let's say you want to start trading and you need more currency pairs now what you need is to click the plus button on top we want to add gbp jpy so we need to click this fine symbol type in gbp jpy as you can see it's popping up already just tap on it and it adds it automatically to your code page now you want to make sure your code page is arranged in alphabetical order so how to do that is you click on the pencil on the right hand corner then you start dragging the three lines in front of each currency pair and click on it and drag to wherever you want it to be euro czk will obviously be ahead of euro usd because euro c comes before euro u so let's go and drag euro dkk that will be under euro czk and mind you euro czk and euro dkk are exotic pairs so now you want to arrange things how they should be let's take gbp jpy which shouldn't be under you we take it above gbp usd now we have everything arranged on this page let's go back now you can see it's arranged alphabetically and like that you can add every other currency pair that is how to do that then let's go to the chart page right now you can see the buy candles on this chart page are white candles and the sell candles are black candles now we want to change the color of the buy candles to green which is the industry standard or blue and we change the sell candles to red which is the industry standard so how do we do this so we need to go back into the drop down menu then you go to the settings then scroll all the way down and look for colors you can see colors customized color scheme now you want to look for bull candle which is over here you want to look for blue bull candle which is white right now click on it and select any shade of green you think can work for you as for me i'll be selecting second to the last green on the second to the last roll you can see it has changed then the bear candle from black will change that to red then click done let's go back to the chart page you can see now that the bear candle which are the which are the buy candle are green and the bull candles are red so that is how to set up your demo account inside metatrader 4. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use all the features inside MetaTrader 4, how to place a trade, how to stop a trade, how to modify a trade, how to do almost anything. Once again, my name is Radio and thank you for watching this video.